Okay, so like I said, while you're waiting for your glue to dry, you can work on your inlay. Here's just a scrap piece of material that we've cut. So we get it, get our saw kerf lined up. And now all I have is just some inlay that I've cut. Um, basically just some thin strips. And the goal is to make sure so that we get a nice tight joint in between the two pieces. Because then we'll come back and smooth it all out. So all I'm going to do here is I've got my strips cut. And I'm just going to lightly take them back and forth on the belt sander and clean those all up. Okay? So, I'm just going to start with a longer piece. All I'm going to do is just lightly take it back and forth. Now, again, I don't want to push down too much so that it's going to take a big gouge out of my material so that when I when I place, place it in my cutting board, I'm going to have a big bend or a big gap in between the actual cutting board and the inlay piece that I cut. So you'll see that what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my fingers on top lightly, and that's it. If you notice, I'm, grab, I'm pushing down on the top. I'm not grabbing here because of how close my fingers would be to the sandpaper. All I'm going to do is just lightly push and go like this, okay? Just enough, basically you're just gonna let it rest on top but so it doesn't jump up and down. That's what that downward pressure is for, okay? You don't wanna try, try not to go directly across because that's a lot of force pulling the whole thing this way, okay? And it could potentially kick out, but more importantly what it could do is if it kicks out your material, well then your fingers are, you know, there's only about an eighth of an inch separating your fingers between nothing and the belt, okay? So that could give you a good jam or take off the tip of your finger. Now it's most likely you're not gonna sit there and hold it, okay? But even going, as you'll see as fast as it goes, and just a quick nick will give you a little ouchie. Okay, so as you can see, this is the side that I was working on, and I didn't even take off, didn't even push hard enough to take off the saw marks. Okay, so what you can see is how lightly I'm pushing, but also, like we said, we don't want to overshoot that thickness so that doesn't even fit it, or so it's it fits in there too loose. So I'm going to continue working on this some more.
Okay, so you can see that I got so that it fits in there. Kind of have to work it in a little bit, but it's going to give us a nice tight joint. I'll probably end up doing just a little bit more sanding to get it so that I can pl place it in there fairly easy throughout the whole length of the board. Because right now I can wedge in a corner, so I'm getting close. So probably about another time or two, I'll get it so that it can fit in the board. You look like here, this side's pretty snug, so I might actually just might just come down to when, it, when I'm actually placing it in my cutting board. Just kind of custom fit each piece. But right now I have it close enough so that I can go through and when time comes I'll be able to put some glue in there and tap it on down.